What is going on, guys? Chris with Jerno's Comments of Pop Culture, and I got a mail call for you all today. Super hype here. Uh, before we get into this, got to show off my incredible shirt. This isn't just an incredible shirt. Check it out. Incredipara. Pretty cool. As a, a para educator, I've been working with little kindergartners uh, this week. It's been awesome. I'm really enjoying it. And they were so happy they were calling me uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Incredible um, going into the classrooms today. But let's get into opening this package here, right, guys? So, okay. I um, Well, first off, again, are we going to be marking another book off of the 2020 Keybook One list? We shall see. But... Um, let me tell you guys, this uh, this package right here that I just got home to uh, is not from eBay. It's from a selling app called, I don't even remember, Mar 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 Marconi, Marconi, something like that. Um, sorry, I, I wish I would have remembered. Is my I just, I think my, my son told me about it, I think. Maybe not. I don't even remember. Bottom line is, I downloaded the app just recently. And this was my first purchase off of the app. And what's cool about it, it's not like eBay where you can uh, put up auctions, but you can you, you can list things and set um, offers uh, where uh, potential buyers can make offers on whatever it is you are trying to sell. So this was from a seller and uh, that had a set price. I was able to make an offer. And then they counter offered, I think only like $2 more. And I said, shoot, I'll take it. So, uh, hope everyone is having a good day or evening as you are watching this. And um, I'm trying to get into this without hurting anything. Gemini Mailer here. So let's see, is this one books? Is it two books? Is it something, ooh. Okay, so what happened was, and I'm going to show you guys why I said, ooh, it's in the Gemini mailer, right? And this piece here is bent down, but the corner of the book was exposed. I'm like, uh oh, I hope it didn't get dinged up, but it looks like it's okay. Yeah, looks like, looks like it's okay. So we do have one book in here. Ooh, and another book that's like taped up in its own special thing. So what do you think? Should I show you guys this book or should I start knifing this one? Huh? Let's, let's keep you guys anticipated for both of them here. Um, I hope you guys uh, saw the new little trailer video or excuse me, commercial for the uh, Disney plus Marvel shows uh, during the Super Bowl. Man, I'm so hyped. I can't wait. We got, what, eight eight more months until Falcon and Winter Soldier. And then, of course, um, Mandalorian Season 2. Eight months already, man. Time time is flying by. Um, and then, of course, my 49ers lost the Super Bowl. I'm still kind of upset about that. Horrible, horrible freaking uh, officiating. Um, and I like the Chiefs. Don't get me wrong. Chiefs are like my favorite AFC team. But um, it's hard to let it go when um a game that is like the most watch um event in the world and one of the most uh profitable uh sports events worldwide in a, in a multi-billion dollar industry so you can't you can't officiate it appropriately i mean come on ridiculous but let's get back to comic books that's not this isn't the place um wow look at this okay oh man that's pretty beautiful. All right, guys. I have a book here. And I have a book here. So, I am going to tell you that one of these books is a book from my 2020 want list, okay? Um, but one of them could have could have been right there with the two. So, let's review what we have left, okay? So, looking at the list. 
we have Captain Britain number eight first Betsy Braddock Psylocke. Uh, down here, Secret Wars number eight first uh, Black Costume Origin. X Men uh, two sixty six first official Gambit. You know, I noticed that CGC now uh, puts in c continuity. So they make it an effort to state, like, look, this is not really his first appearance. It's his first appearance in continuity. We did see him once before in the annual. Uh, anyways, Hulk uh, 180, first Wolverine cameo, Fantastic Four number 49, first Full Galactus, second Silver Surfer, Amazing Spider Man 129, first Punisher. Which one could it be? So let's get to it. All right. Now, I'm going to show you the one book that is not the key off the uh, the want list but it is a key in itself and uh look looks uh pretty decent to what the seller was describing it as and there it is marvel team up number 141 uh that now see this i do believe this came out maybe a month or two after um after the black suit appeared in uh, 252, Amazing Spider-Man 252. So I know this one has been getting more hype lately just because it's considered one of the first appearances um, of the black suit. Now that, you know, as of late has been kind of taken uh, maybe out of context or, or confused to which came first. And I know that the storyline of um, Secret Wars number eight tells the origin, uh, and it came out a few months after 252 and this, but that book had the, you know, the popularity behind it. So uh, be, I, I think due to the uh, social media and due to the internet and uh, YouTube and whatnot, I think the demand for this book especially but and for 252 has gone up over the last like five years um just because these are more first appearance fact actual first appearances than secret wars number eight um let's look at this book i think he said you know they're close to near mint and um i mean it's pretty accurate this book is uh obviously red it has a minor spine roll there uh, but a press can can flatten that out. Uh, a, only a couple little spine ticks um, in the middle of the book, right here and right here. Corners are nice and solid. So um, this is a, a pretty solid book. I would uh, uh, nice, decently white pages. Um, staples are perfect. Uh, th th yeah, as is. I think this book would get at least a 9.0 with the press shoot it could get up to a i mean I, I don't you know for me i'm not too good on the 9.4 9.6 9.8 um i probably wouldn't be good at guessing those so let's set this up here that bad boy is gonna go into the press so now drum roll now you guys might i mean this book may give it away uh the the, the one i just showed you but regardless let's go ahead and go in to the 2020 want, uh, key off the want list. So there it is, guys. Secret Wars, number eight. I finally got it. Now, I don't know why. It's really interesting because as Spider-Man is my favorite superhero and as much Spider-Man stuff that I have, like complete runs of all of his side runs, such a full run of Amazing Spider-Man and uh, you would think I, I would have this in my collection, and I don't think I ever did, even as a kid, even though I lost some of uh, my my childhood collection. Um, so I finally have it. Over the years, I never, y y y you know, pulled the trigger on this for some reason. I don't know. Now, it's just, it's perfect timing because you, uh, this app too, I was monitoring eBay and this app and like nothing came close to the value that I got for these books. I'm telling you right now, nothing came close. I basically got both of these books for the price that I probably could have got this for or even cheaper in the condition that it's in, especially after a nice little press. So let's, let's pull this out and uh, look at it. Now it is, um, the direct edition, 
I was trying to search for the new stand. Both of them are direct. But you know what? It's like when it comes down to like, say if there was a, a new stand edition that was 8.5 or a direct that was 9.0, I, I would take the higher grade. You want to take the higher grade any day. So I was shooting for the higher grade with these. And for the, uh, like I said, the price that I got both of these was just amazing. Oh, yeah. Now that is nice. Um, ooh, I am feeling a little something down at the bottom. But that could probably be pressed out. So let's look at the front cover first. Okay, so here it is. Smooth, smooth and glossy. We do have a little, well, I don't know, a little rippling right there. That might be able to be smoothed out in a press. Uh, the corners are nice. Is that a little tiny bit of a ding? I don't know. I, that's pretty solid, actually. Um, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit of a spine roll, but that that might just be from sitting um, and getting some spine stress. Uh, I'm trying to feel for some spine ticks. Couple maybe. There's one that shows on the back. No real, no color breaking spine ticks at all, whatsoever. Uh, the bot look at that crisp at the bottom, maybe one, one or two little ding ripples that might be able to come out in a press too. Here is where probably the most damage is. And that's the spine kind of a stress right here that could be pressed out. And then down here, that's probably the worst. Do you see that? You see that rippling? So hopefully that can come out right there in a press as well. Um, other than that, this book is smooth. Um, yeah, white, beautiful white pages. So this, yeah, uh, awesome, awesome deal here. Um, now without a press, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to, I would lowball this as a, as a 8.5, but I'm going to say this can get a 9.0 the way it is too. But after a press, I, I think this can, uh, definitely get uh 9.2 maybe even a 9.4 that's my uh uh guess as not being a, a professional grader so there it is guys in all of its glory let's go ahead and grab the sharpie and mark it off the list oh where's my sharpie where is it is it in there it sure is now hopefully i know we got a lot of reports um you know, we got the Morbius trailer with uh, Spider-Man in the background. We have Michael Keaton at the end. We know that these universe are cross, our universes are crossing over. Like I told you all, go back to my videos and see what I said when they were like, Spider-Man's done in the MCU. I was like, nope, they're going to take the Sony-verse and the MCU uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it's going to be a multiverse, and they're gonna, that's how they're going to bring them together. I called it. Uh, we're going to see Tom Holland Spider-Man with Venom and... Uh, who knows what's going to happen with this black suit. So hopefully, you know, these are going to start picking up again and getting a little more hot. Uh, so I think the deal I got these at this time, just perfect, perfect timing. So where are we? Secret Wars number eight. Let's mark it off. Boom. So look at that. We got one, two, three, four off the list already. That leaves us with one, two, three, four, five. And guys, I might add a couple more since we're uh, still in February and, uh, you know, we got, we got, uh, uh, more than 10 months to go still. So there it is guys. Glad I can mark another one off the list. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of, of, uh, the grades on these books. I'll probably do some videos on both of these after I give them a press and have you guys help name that grade. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not done so yet. And until next time.